guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. people how's it going sherry here uh so this is going to be a twin flame reading for april the first until the seventh um so i think i'm going to use the john holland psychic tarot of the heart and i think i need to adjust the camera a little bit here so this is going to be the basic twin flame reading and uh so the extended version will be available on Vimeo as well as uh, Patreon as well. So let me pull the cards Whoa. first and then we'll go through the positions. So I might have to adjust the camera like I said. You can probably even fast forward through this. I'm not likely to say anything important. And the bottom of the deck. All right. And I'll give my cards a little shuffle just in case I want to pull an extra card for clarify clarification. Oh my god. Mercury retrograde, full moon coming up as well. So, speech impediment. Okay, so let me, you know what, actually, the angle doesn't look too bad, so I don't want to mess with it. Oh, right. So let's begin with the feminine. Um, her past position is the two of wands spread your wings so this card talks about um, opening yourself up seeing all the possibilities expanding your mind expanding your soul so I like the way that there, there's a woman being portrayed here and her arms are wide open and there's this like golden brick road with this luminescent you know um, um, treasure at the you know, pot of gold at the end of a rainbow kind of deal and um, so y you can feel that there's work ahead of her she is committed she's already made a decision to go on this journey and she's embracing it okay so for the masculine past position wow the ace of wands so you guys are matching each other in vibration the Ace of Wands is a uh, Kundalini Awakening. I just want to move these cards somewhere else. So it's a Kundalini Awakening. Um, it is also a brand new beginning. You know, and usually has something to do with your spiritual uh, journey, uh, embarking on a spiritual journey. Um, it's a creative spark. It's inspiration. So. The masculine has awakened his soul and what I feel here is all the chakras are open and aligned and he's playing them like, what is that, a flute? I have no idea. So yeah, it's, it's like he's playful and immersed in this creative energy or this inspirational energy. And the feminine is has her arms wide open in the same type of energy and she's embracing okay so what is in the fe feminine's present position I'm just realizing you guys can't really see those very well um, so anyway let me carry on so the present position for the um, feminine is the base chakra so it's number one the lowest chakra so it's a feeling of safety and security, um, feeling like your your basic needs are being met, like you're being cared for, looked after. You know, you don't have to worry about money or 
where are you going to find money for your next meal, that kind of thing. It's, it's very low uh, vibration. And so she may feel that her security, um, her safety is at risk. So I'm just going to pull one card as a clarifier. The Chariot. So this is movement forward. This is taking control of your life, directing your energy towards a goal, overcoming obstacles and challenges. And it's a water card as well. So this is an extroverted energy. So there's a sense that she wants to move forward. She wants to pursue um, this creative idea or this thing that will make her happy. But she is wavering. She, feel, she doesn't feel quite safe enough to pursue it, perhaps. Okay, so what's in the masculine's present position? Third eye chakra. Wow. Both chakras, uh, both have chakras activated. So this is your subconscious mind. It is, um, you know, seeing the future, being able to predict the future, the way things are going to play out. Um, this also is activated when you're looking for an answer. So you need to go within to seek the answers within. So let's pull one card. Destiny. Kind of interesting how you guys both got um, major arcanas attached to the chakras. So this is, uh, this reduces to one. So it is a completion of a cycle and the beginning of a new. And this usually represents um, things starting to turn in your favor. So good, lo good luck and good fortune is coming towards you. So the masculine is in the midst of uh, a change he may be feeling that things are starting to shift, um, move more positively and towards him. And he's using his intuition in order to, to guide him. So the near future for the feminine is the Six of Swords healing begins. So, yeah, I mean, it seems to me that the feminine has been struggling. She was open in the past. She was embracing a new journey. Um, but there's a sense of safety that she, she, there's a blockage there, right? So in the near future, she's opening herself up, opening her soul to either another person or, you know, just within. Um, and as it says below, healing begins, right? So it's a, a much needed healing um, and it's a movement towards calmness, stillness as well. So that healing can happen. So what is in the near future for the masculine? Wow, the four of wands. So I use this card as confirmation of a twin plane connection. And I was just noticing there's all fire on this side. The wheel of fortune is also a fire card. Um, so, wow, cool. Um, so the four of wands, joy and stability, just as it says there. It is a sense of commitment security, um, you know, you feel like you've arrived, yet you have your whole life spread out before you. So it's um, usually it's, you know, um, a marriage proposal um, or buying a home together. But this this bond and this celebration that goes along with this card is very beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to leave the final outcomes for later. Let's move down to the foundation. Wow, so the Wheel of Fortune again, Destiny card. So it says flow on this card. Um, so we can see, you know, there's like a surrender to the force of Destiny, you know, knowing that you can't change things. Um, everything um, plays out as it should. So again, the completion of a cycle from five to ten years. Um, and so it's coming in the foundation. So this has already come to pass and it is what's grounding the connection. Destiny is grounding the connection, a surrender to the flow of destiny. Okay. And so the crowning energy is the four pentacles open up. Okay. So I was kind of picking up on an energy of the feminine trying to open up with two cards here, you know, and, and feeling closed off with the base chakra. So this is a shared energy between the two sides. So since there's a feminine being represented here, it's like the masculine wants the feminine to open up. She's either being closed off, holding on too tightly to something, 
you know, there's a blockage there, right? And the feminine wants the same thing. She will be opening up in the near future. Um, you know, the Six of Swords is all about mental noise, okay? And this base chakra is all about the 3D reality. In the past, she was open spiritually, um, and she would like to be open in the 3D reality. Both aspects desire this. Okay, so what is the feminine bringing in is the tower rebuild. Okay, so she's been struggling. Okay, and um, she, what she's bringing into the union is a sudden disruption, um, clairvoyance, an aha moment. It's tearing down the illusions, right? And so what's really capturing my attention here is how the feminine has her hands over her heart in a protective manner. So she's shielding herself with this metal dress, right? And so the lightning is just kind of bouncing off of her. And she's in a very, um, almost like an ice cold kind of stance. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the, the Queen of Swords, right? There's no expression, there's no reaction, just protectiveness. So the feminine is bringing this energy into the union. So, you know, usually I see the tower card as something that's very positive. In this situation, since she's also turned away from the masculine, I see her as being, you know, closed off. Um, and, you know, and there's almost a sense that if you touch her, then you'll get shocked. You know, some type of um, backlash, if you will. Now, this might not resonate for everybody, and I'm going to be looking a little bit closer into what all these cards mean. I'll be pulling a, a past, present, and future for the extended portion of the reading. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, um, you can um, view the extended reading through Patreon, and I'll also be uploading it to Vimeo as well. Okay, so um, what is the masculine bringing in? Wow, the chariot. Move. So the feminine had the chariot in the present position, accompanying that sense of safety. So there may be a lot of movement from the masculine. There's a lot of positivity. There's, a, there's commitment. There's this new beginning of vitality and excitement. And here we have the two aspects coming together with that beautiful heart, you know, being levitated by their love. And again, a sense of commitment. You know, and so he's bringing movement, and she desires movement, but there's a sense of her being closed off to it. Okay, so what is at the heart? The Six of Cups, simply love, reunion, desire to be reunited, a desire to um, reach out to somebody from the past. So this is, uh, you know, somebody from the past coming back, somebody from childhood, previous life. Now, what's being represented on the card is a masculine energy with a child. So at the heart of the matter, there seems to be this um, commitment or a desire to be committed to this connection, but there are other things to consider, like, you know, maybe the masculine has a child, right? The, the children come first, um, and vice versa, you know. Um, maybe your decision to come together with the, the masculine, I'm talking to the feminine right now, requires you to leave some people behind. Um, but what I'm really feeling here is, you know, it's simply love. At the heart of the matter, this connection, um, there is love, you know, and the love is un, un, you know, unbroken. Okay, so let's move into the final outcome for the feminine control. Interesting, the strength card, so major kana. Um, so I, what I feel here is the feminine getting control of this, this energy that's at her, you know, that's kind of collecting in her chest. You know, it's like she's trying to control this energy and what she really needs to do is to release it. 
Right, and ultimately that's what I feel she does, right? There's no burning sensation in her chest anymore. There's just a sense of calm and peacefulness, right? So the strength card is about taming the beast within. It's taming that side of yourself that wants to lash out. And it's also creating a very gentle, loving, nurturing environment so that people can open up. So this is her final outcome to, to surrender, to surrender control. Final outcome for the masculine side is, wow, another major arcana. So this is uh, the hangman, observe. So it's another card of going within, and it's seeing things from a different perspective. So it's realizing that you can't control a situation. Um, and the best thing to do is to go silent and to surrender and to observe. And, you know, let everything play out as it should. I like how there's this um, rainbow of colors, you know, still kind of front and center, you know, playing out throughout the reading. So that's beautiful. And then also what I'm seeing is, you know, how both aspects are facing forward. Actually, all the cards, except for this one and this one, they're all facing forward. There's like an audience here that I see. Um, now the feminine is looking down here, but she's also looking straight forward at the same time, right? There's a balance introvertly and extrovertly. Um, over here, you know, same thing, looking forward, facing, facing your fears, facing, you know, whatever it is that's there, um, not avoiding it, do you know what I mean? But not overcoming it, not taking action on it, just, you know, this kind of reminds me of, you know, when you've met somebody else who is awakened, who's truly awakened, their silence speaks loudly. So pretend you're in a room with a whole bunch of people and there's some people that are acting out out of ego. Um, somebody who is truly awake can see through that act, right? And you can't um, fool somebody who's uh, wide awake. You know, all they need to do is look at you with a certain gaze and you can see and feel the truth within them, right? And lies and dishonesty can't exist when the truth is right there, you know, glaring you in the face, basically. Okay, so the overall energy is another chakra, sacral chakra. So this is where your emotions are stored. It's also where, um, you know, how you face the world, how you interact with the world, how the world reacts to you. So overall, there's a blockage at the second chakra. Um, the masculine is working through those blockages very clearly, right? He seems to be on a higher vibration and in a state of surrender. The feminine, you know, I feel that the blockages may be coming from her. Uh, so, you know, ladies really dig deep and try to discover where these are coming from. Is there something that you need to say? Is there, do you feel that you are being misrepresented? represented? Are you being ignored? Are you, um, you know, just not being heard, right? There's something that is stirring within you, some type of emotional connection or need that needs to be released. And, you know, if, if you feel, you know, that you, you may be feeling alone, you know, connect with other people. Even just go to a movie, a public movie, that kind of thing. Just be around people. But, you know, an important message here is to reach out, right? You're, it's like you're purposely closing yourself off, even though there's this desire to open up. Um, maybe you're trying too hard. I don't know. So 
ultimately you find that power within to resolve this these these blockages right so that's great to see okay so i'm going to pull two cards from mists and mermaids and this will be the final message Ooh, from uh, I was just noticing that the three cups flipped up and so this card is usually about community um, it's the vibe tribe right getting together with like-minded people but it's also a card of union you know um, two people come together to create a third energy which is love and you celebrate that love so that kind of confirms what I was saying um, reach out and celebrate love and yeah Okay, so two messages from the universe. Whoop, okay, so this one's for the feminine. Absinthe mermaid. Okay, and so for the masculine. Sea chariot. Wow, interesting. So the chariot, again, um, has showed up three times. Okay, so number 26. So, languid, with barely the strength to lift my head, I indulge in more, my decadent drink, my viridian vice. I crave more, I succumb to more. I am myself no more. Um, a comatose green mermaid is draped in a toxic stream of bottles, skulls, and poisons. She is drugged and lethargic, a slave to her torpid addiction. She seems at risk being washed, of being washed away at a moment's notice. I'm just going to pause it for one moment to clear my throat. Sorry, I'm still getting over my cold. Sorry about that. Okay, so the meaning is beware of dependency. Absinthe mermaid has wallowed in her addiction for too long. She has become languid. You have also spent too much time time or sorry too long immersed in the addiction or dependence addiction and dependence saps one's energy and robs one of vitality and strength something in your life a substance an obsession or an unhealthy relationship is draining your life essence and you need to let it go seek assistance from a trusted friend a wise person in your community or a professional to help rid you of your unhealthy attachment before it's too late. Once you have escaped, reevaluate your life and take stock of your frailties. Uh, what led you down the path of addiction, independence in the first place? What steps can you take to avoid stumbling down the rabbit hole again? Interesting. And that's exactly what I'm feeling is you being closed off, right? Not feeling safe. Um, wanting to find peace okay so oh wow number 27 once I rode a passive babe at the mercy of those around me a defenseless child with demeanor so mild as to encourage complacency yet as time passed by I endeavored to try a temperament more becoming so I grab the reins and I've made great gains as a charioteer commanding. A white-haired beauty rides upon a chariot pulled by curious fishes. She is optimistic in control and the captain of her destiny. Though, the young, though young and inexperienced, she is prepared to take command and forge her own path. So the meaning is assert control. It is time for you to assert control. You have been given the reins over to others in too many areas of your life and it is time to grab them back. Take stock of all arenas of your life, your profession, personal relationships, monetary considerations, group associations, and home obligations. Determine where you are dissatisfied with your level of involvement and make a plan to take it back control. It is perfectly acceptable and desirable to trust others to help you with some aspects of your life. But it is up to you and you alone to make sure this help does not turn into dependence. You are the sole captain of your ship. You need to be at the helm where and when it matters the most.
There you go. So there's this sense of you needing to take action, move, you know, if that means um, making a commitment even to yourself, you know, um, that's what you're being asked to do. All right. So I do hope this helped you guys and I will see you next week. Cheers. All right. So this is the extended part of the reading. And so I put a little bit more light on the situation. Seems to be helping a little bit. I'm not sure why it's still so dark on this side of the reading. Anyway, um, so let's continue on. So I'm going to pull three cards per position. So let me just give my cards a little shuffle. Now the cards that I've already pulled as clarifiers, um, those would be considered to be the present position. Okay, and let's use my other little deck here. All right, so beginning with the feminine's past position, okay? So we, we talked about how this is an expansion, right? Spread your wings, open yourself. So she was open in the past position. The devil, the ten of pentacles, and the crown chakra. So it seems to me that the feminine was able to overcome that chain. There was... You know, the overall message from the universe was for the feminine to unchain herself. You know, it might be a codependent relationship or an addiction. Okay, so that's what the devil represents, is that chain. And, you know, it's so that it's an ego, right? It always whispers in your, your ear, you need more of this, you need more of that in order to feel safe. And that sense of safety and security is really playing hardball on your side of the reading. So the next card in the present position is the Ten of Pentacles. So this is a long-term goal manifested. There is, you know, you don't have to worry about money anymore. You're, you're, you're retired at this point. So the feminine, she, it's almost, you know, because we're, we're having an expansion here, a movement from the lowest vibration into something more positive and higher with the crown chakra. So this card in the middle, the Ten of Pentacles, kind of throwing me for a loop because we have this new beginning with the Two of Wands and then a completion. So she may have unchained herself from this need to have everything perfect right that happily ever after manifested into the 3d she possibly let go of her attachments to the outcome and opened herself up expanded her vision you know and there could be um inspiration um a feeling of a new start both aspects are beginning this new journey it's like together and the synchronicity is that there's a feminine here over there's a masculine but it's almost like she's waiting you know she's waiting to take that step kind of like the fool now the crown chakra in the future position this is again a kundalini awakening it's the crown chakra which is the highest chakra activation so this is coming in the future so i i feel it's already come to pass especially you know, there's such a high vibration here and you can almost see the light coming out of her crown chakra already. So I feel that activation has already taken place. I was going to say it could be in the future, right? The past yet to be. Okay, you can't see that very well, eh? That's so weird. Sorry, guys. All right, so for the masculine, three cards the Queen of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. Beautiful. So the Queen of Swords could represent an air sign, but I always see this more as an energy. The energy that comes off of this 
Queen of Swords is cold. Now, she doesn't mean to be cold. It's, you know, that's just the way she does things. She wants to get to the truth of the matter. She doesn't allow her emotions to control her. Now, because it's a queen, the masculine, um, you know, it could be the feminine energy, you know, him feeling locked out because of something she might have said in the past. Um, but ultimately opening up and feeling this love and celebrating love, right? Now, this could also be a karmic partner that made him feel that he was imprisoned by the mind, right? It's a self-imposed prison, but it's an oppressive energy coming from the outside, making him feel that way. So overall, he released himself from that energy, right? The Nine of Cups is wish granted, wish fulfilled, um, feeling emotionally satisfied and celebrating life, being with friends and family. You know, you're almost at the Ten of, of Cups, right? So this energy is so beautiful that he is playing music. Beautiful reflective cards. That's exactly the kind of vibration that I was picking up. Okay, so let's finish pulling these two cards. So the past is the sun and the future is the night. So we got two cards of movement. And the overall energy, it's kind of showing a blockage here that may be coming from the feminine. Um, right. And so here we see that blockage opening up. Right. It's, you know, the, the knight of wands is a very controlled energy, very similar to the chariot, both movement forward. But it's pursuing the things that make you passionate, feeling creative, spirituality, right? So here we got you beginning that journey and now you're in full throttle in the future. So the sun card is coming in the past position. It's the most positive card in the deck. So we can see this feeling of, you know, that new beginning. It's exciting. Um, there's... A sense of commitment to it and then a, also detachment as well but I you know I'm what I'm really focusing is on this card it's this openness right and that fire wand energy heating her up so the present position the feminine came from a be very beautiful place of new beginnings she was ready she wants to move forward, and it looks to me like she will take control of her life, right? The strength card is also activated in the future, a lot of fire activation. And so she is moving out of that blockage very strongly. So the masculine's present position is the destiny card. So two cards, one for the past, the ace of pentacles. Wow, the heart chakra, beautiful. Lots of chakras being activated this week. So we got a new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of um, Wands coming in the past. So the masculine really feels like he's beginning something new. He's had an He's been given a gift. He's been given the key to release himself from that prison. And so usually this means a new beginning in the 3D reality, right? So. He, you know, we got two ones here as well, so this reduces to one, so we've got an 11. Um, and he really feels that this luck is changing for him. He's optimistic, he's hopeful, and he, he has foresight about the future. He feels that this is going to, you know, um, that everything's going to work out. And the future position, it's leading to his heart chakra activating with the four of wands. So, true love unconditional love that is so beautiful such a beautiful progression there and it's all around the third eye okay so the near future for the feminine is the six of swords the uh, ace of cups the temperance and wow the empress amazing so I love seeing that okay so the Six of Swords is moving to calmness, right? And we got this healing energy. Now, the Ace of Cups is coming in the past, and it's a confirmation card, which is a lower energy. The main position card is the card to pay attention to. So the Ace of Cups comes with conditions. 
it, it, um, it means that you've let go of the past, you've forgiven yourself, forgiven others, you healed your wounds, and you're ready to receive true love into your life. So the Ace of Cups is coming in the past, right? So we have this energy of feeling new beginnings, right? With the Sun card there, um, a desire to move forward into calmer state, which she does with the Temperance card. This is the ultimate stillness, balance, being in the now, but having balance in all areas of your life. Um, being tempered, right? Not overindulging in things. So this kind of confirms that this is not a negative card, right? Usually it represents negative mental noise. And so what I'm feeling is this opening and the feminine really sharing her heart, right? Doing that healing work in the past and it, you know, calm, it's, it's climb, it's getting to this climatic moment of being the divine feminine and it's beautiful to see this because the feminine has been really struggling um with a lot of you know mental stuff as well as emotional stuff in the past couple of readings so it's beautiful to see the feminine really coming into her strength so this is the goddess of love right someone who gives to all who shares her abundance and it's a card of manifestation so that's coming in the future and it's coming because of this state of stillness oneness and healing so healing begins in the near future and it's leading to the feminine stepping into her yin energy so the masculine in your future four of wands confirmation twin flame ten of wands the page or sorry the queen of pentacles and very cool synchronicity we got the wheel of or sorry the um hangman coming in the future and that's the same card right here so the past position ten of wands so this shows a completion in the past he was carried he felt that he was carrying all the burden um he reached the finish line but there's still so much responsibility and this is also a card of being caught in the machine so that cycle ended the new beginnings came in the two aces a feeling like his wishes can be fulfilled in the future heart chakra to love right and so that tension is gone and the focus is on the queen of pentacles now this could be an earth sign but this is you know really kind of resonating the same energy of the empress both earth energies both people who um, give their love to all now this is the the mother earth she is the the provider as well she's she gives to her children she makes sure her children's needs are met she creates this beautiful home she wants to create this you know loving safe environment for her family so there's a sense that the masculine wants you know has been tossing and turning and um stressing about wanting to possibly to be with the feminine and desiring you know, knowing that destiny um, has everything planned out, but also there's a sense of wanting to take action and be with the feminine, the 3D. Both of these cards are about the 3D. This is um, commitment, 3D, like a spiritual commitment in the 3D. Um, and then, you know, this is a 3D queen. Now, it kind of reflects this Ten of Pentacles down here in the past, so there was this foundation that was already laid in the past. Uh, there was this commitment that was kind of already um, desired on a, subconscious, on a subconscious level, I think, on um, both aspects here. So now the masculine has swifted. Or sh ah, why can't I talk? Oh, my God, Mars. Or Mercury. <laughs> Mercury retrograde. So the, the masculine has shifted his perspective um, and will be shifting his perspective in the future as a final outcome. So what I'm seeing here is this shift from the Ten of Wands, which is laying in this bed of fire, the Phoenix rising, into this um, solid, committed energy. And it's a continued... Um, it's a continued shift in perspective, right? 
And it's so nice to see the masculine in this higher vibration as well. Wow, it's beautiful. Okay, so um, the tower card rebuilds. What's that about? The moon, the four of cups, and the knight of cups. Okay, very nice. Um, so the past position, the moon, another major arcana. So the feminine um, is coming from this place of not knowing, you know, that, so this is a shadow side. Those, this is those voices, those whispers in the ear. Okay, so it's not knowing or seeking answers that is, has created this tower energy, a feeling of being closed off holding on to illusions, um, maybe seeking those answers, right? And those illusions are coming down. But I'm feeling a sense of missed opportunity because of her being closed off. Now, the Four of Cups is stagnation, boredom, feeling like things aren't moving, right? And so this person who's sit sitting here looking out the window, it's very cool because you know, it's a dark scene, so it's it's like at night, right? And he's looking out at the moon. You know, all the that confusion and all that energy of just not knowing and, and seek and wanting to seek those answers. And as a result, there's this um, discontentment that seems to be residing below the surface, right? And so that would be the devil, the ego. But on the surface of things, there's this feeling of wanting to move forward, right? But not feeling safe or secure enough to do it. She opens up, which is beautiful because we've got another night coming in the future. That's two nights coming. So this is the knight in shining armor. Again, it's commitment. It's an offering of love. But it's these two cards are both longing for commitment. So you... You're offering your hand in love and you want that person to accept that love or that, you know, that offer. Right, so the feminine is repeated theme, you know, looking to the past, feeling like things aren't moving, and they do, they open up. So the masculine's bringing in the chariot. Wow, the four of cups again, the six of pentacles, and the eight of cups. So the past position, Four of Cups, same card, looking out the window, looking at the past, feeling like things aren't moving, and this card is movement. You know, um, coming together, and that kind of further um, confirms the fact that he is being open and receptive with the Six of Pentacles, this is the reciprocation card, the sharing your life with somebody in 3D, being open to giving of yourself. You know, so where there was, you know, a sense of being closed off, there's now openness. Now, the Eight of Cups is coming in the future, so this is moving on. You know, now remember the overall energy of the reading is that sacral chakra, which is an emotional blockage. So what I see here is a masculine walking away from eight cups, leaving eight cups behind, not having, not being influenced by his emotions. You can see that surrender happening with the wheel of fortune, or why do I keep saying wheel of fortune, with the hangman, you know, leaving his fears behind and moving into more um, positive space that is focused on him, All right? This is a pilgrimage, a journey to discover self. And what I see here is where the masculine was closed off in the past, there's now an opening and a movement towards, right? It's like the masculine's moving towards this union. Okay, so what is at the foundation? One card for the feminine and for the masculine. Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles is showing up again. Remember, it's coming in the near future. Okay, and we see this masculine being submerged in water, emotion, surrendering to the flow. This is destiny card, right? And the energy is looking down at this feminine. So it's coming again in the future with a sense of commitment. And, you know, the hangman is also another water card being submerged in your emotions. Now, the masculine is bringing in the four of pentacles. Both are earth cards. 
Now the masculine was closed off in the past, right? Now we're getting a sense that the feminine, that they both want to be open, right? It's the same card, four of pentacles as a crowning energy. That's what, does, what they both desire. So, you know, maybe the masculine was closed off because there's a masculine energy here. The feminine was ready. She was open and receptive, giving of herself. Mother Earth, remember, creating this beautiful home. And the, and the masculine took notice of that. You know, she is home. And the flow of destiny is towards her. So the masculine was closed off in the past. And there's a sense of them both opening up in the future. So one card for the feminine is the judgment card, the masculine, the page of swords. So, Page of Swords is a very important communication card. Speaking truthfully, open, honestly, right? And we have the Queen of Swords coming in in the past. Now, um, yeah, I'm feeling strongly that it's communication and desire to speak truthfully. And, you know, maybe this truthful conversation will open her up and vice versa. Maybe he wants to open up so that he can speak his truth. Um, now it's also mental clarity, it's making a decision, you know, and it's a new beginning as well, having these thoughts that you want to talk about, okay? And so the feminine is bringing in the judgment card. So this is realizing your entire life is just illusion, you know, in a movie projected on the screen in your own mind. So she wants to change her reality. She wants to be open. She wants to give up herself. And so she's been reviewing her past. She's been seeing things, um, the mistakes that she's made and how she wants to, you know, change her fate. And there's a sense that she needs to make a decision. And, and so she is reviewing her, reevaluating things. Okay, so um, at the heart, one card for the feminine, the lover's card. And, wow, the third eye chakra again. So that's twice now that the third eye chakra showed up. So remember that the Six of Cups is the reunion card, and it says simply love. So his premonition is telling him that this is love, and the desire is to reunite, and he's being drawn, you know, by the heart. And the feminine is bringing in the lover's card. This is passion ignited between two people who are deeply in love, like twin flames. So you feel that passion at, in the soul. So both desire this reu reunion. Now she's more of a longing energy. She wants this um, badly, right? And um, yeah, she feels that things are not moving and the ego is playing its part. But she's breaking free of that in the future and moving into the yin, the true divine feminine. Okay, so as a final outcome for the feminine is the strength card. So the eight of cups again, the two of swords, and the high priestess. So the past position, eight of cups. Okay, so, you know, that's the same card that's coming in the future for the masculine. And again, there's a sense of movement towards this energy, towards this safe place, um, home. So, you know, there was a decision to, to move away from an emotionally draining situation or um, in, to embark on a spiritual journey. Remember, the overall card is the Sacro Chakra, so it is moving out of that blockage and into this control, taming the beast within. The Two of Swords uh, is in the present position, so this is the crossroads, right? Um, the split mind, having two choices. So again, a sense of choice is playing on the feminine. And she feels that she's not moving. She was moving, and then there's a sense of stoppage, okay? But then she moves into the high priestess. Again, that going within meditative energy. And it is also using your intuition, your subconscious mind to guide you to make those decisions to open up that blockage so yeah um it's a very powerful card as well like 
you know, and this could be the masculine energy and you're just surrendering to it, right? There's two masculines here and then this is like a feminine surrendering. Okay, so the masculine's bringing in the hangman. So, wow, the strength card, judgment card, and the knight, oh my god, of cups, but what a cool synchronicity. Okay, so the strength card, both got strength card as a final outcome. So there is this gentle, nurturing energy that is playing out. And, you know, and it looks like it's coming from the Divine Feminine in the near future. Being in the now, being in a healing energy, right? And because you're able to heal yourself, you're also helping others heal. Um, so the Strength card is Taming the Beast as well. The Judgment card, Grand Awakening card. Um, that has to do with that shift in perspective that I was talking about, you know, but there's a sense that you both are reevaluating your life to make a decision to move forward. That's what his message is to move forward. And you are, your message, the feminine, um, is to, um, you know, cut those, those chains that are holding you down, open up. And so the future position is the Knight of Cups. Another cool synchronicity. The feminine got the Knight of Cups. Um, where? Why am I not seeing it? Oh my god, I can't see it. What the heck? That's so weird. Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay, so this is what she's bringing into the union. Okay, so this energy is coming in the future to synchronicity so far. Very cool. Um, just in this hand. <laughs> So, yeah, um, he, because of this kind, gentle, nurturing energy, he is able to continue to shift his perspective and discover more, um, like more illusions come down. So it shifts his perspective and he moves into this more loving space, movement forward. very positive cards in the future so we have the nine of cups in the first position there we have the heart chakra um the four of wands and the the knight of cups very positive energy of movement okay and then the feminine also positive energy the crown chakra the knight of cups the knight of wands the um, empress and the high priestess Oh, well, you know, in the strength card. Beautiful. Okay, so should I pull two more cards as a final message? Yeah, let's do that. So let's just, um, you know, use the Call It Baron Read Enchanted map. So I'll just pull one final message, and this will be for both aspects. Okay, so overall message is cleaning house. Interesting. Um... So what I'm feeling is like spring cleaning. And that's kind of the message that was going on last week as well. Releasing some things, letting go. Okay, so it's time to clear the clutter to make way for better things. When you see the cleaning house card in a reading, it's time to declutter your life. Get rid of unwanted things in your physical home and release what you no longer want or truly need. Is there any unfinished business you should address? Thoughts, memories, and emotional baggage must be swept out of your house as well. Your conscience must be clear for you to move freely in the world. Celebrate a spring cleaning and feel the freedom as you make way for much better things. Look at what you've resisted discarding and be honest about its value. Be honest and clean house. All right, so I do hope this helps, and I'm sending massive love your way. All right, cheers.